Okay, so we're installing a catalytic converter protector shield on this Gen 5 Prius. This is a 2023 Take Prius. Take a look under here and it's interesting. This vehicle compared to the previous uh, generation, there's an all new engine. It has a regular metal oil filter and it is tiny. That is a tiny uh, traditional oil filter. So it has its own metal can. I don't think I remember ever seeing an oil filter that small. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, it has a different uh, transaxle than the previous version. Uh, here's the plate. This is made by Miller. Okay, so I'm gonna get a couple bolts started. That should hold it. Now it's kind of interesting the hardware they include. There's this there's this aluminum brace that's found both on this Gen 5 and on, the, and on the Gen 4 as well. So the hardware they include is this little spacer so that this uh, brace doesn't crush. So this spacer has to drop into here. And that keeps the, the uh, chassis stiffener from just crushing when you tighten the bolts. Now they do include a couple foam strips that you can uh, put in between these two if you get a rattle. Well, I would consider this a deterrent, not a prevention of theft of the catalytic converter. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the catalytic converter were stolen despite having this in place. Um, but considering this thing was, I think under $200 shipped, um, it's worth it. And of course, there's just the peace of mind of protecting something, like just worrying about it less, regardless of its actual effectiveness. <laughs> okay, I got those snugged up. All right, so I'll zap these down. Looks like it's not quite clearing here. So if I snug this, it's probably fine but it's not exactly lined up right there. So we're all installed. Okay, so we tested it out earlier and I kind of smacked on it and was rattling a lot. So we pulled this out of the kit, which is a little foam strip. So we'll slide this in here and then we'll snug it up and see if that fixes that rattle problem. Now the plate, is not a perfect fit. It does have like a sort of, it's not flush here when I tightened everything up and I did review the instructions again. And you know, I have followed the instructions for how to install and being this is a kind of early production uh, plate. I think they probably are still kind of dialing in the perfect shape, um, but it was pretty fast to install. Um, probably about 20 minutes, half an hour into this project. All right. Oh yeah. So that got rid of the rattle. I'll go ahead and torque it down and then I'll uh, put this plastic shield back in place. These are kind of interesting fasteners that Toyota is using now. You twist them to unscrew them but you just simply push them upwards to snug them up. That guy. But what's going to cause it to? Make, yeah, I don't you think you have to hit something. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> All right.